Hey, it's Heather, and today I've got a Natalie attired. Good morning. It's very overcast outside, so you can see my lighting is not as good as it can be. Um, I do have my little crafting lamp up right now, so this side of my face is being lit up like crazy. Please excuse the condition of my hair. I was on the phone trying to do my hair at the same time this morning, and it's humid, about to rain outside, so this is what I look like today. But I got my Natalie attired. It was actually left on my garden hose on the side of my house, and thankfully I went outside to play with the puppies yesterday, and it was sitting there. So normally they put them on my front porch or right outside my garage door, so that was kind of hidden, which is a little scary, because being that rain is in the forecast, I could very well, and I forgot to put lipstick on, <laughs> but being that rain is in the forecast, this could have been a soggy box. But anyway, um, I need to make this quick. I might do the try on now. I might wait till I get home. I have to go. Monday is my birthday. My tags are due, but my husband's birthday is in May. So I wait for his papers to come in so I can go down and do them all at one time. So anyway, let's open up my Natalie attired box. Been a crazy morning trying to get things scheduled and um, I did find out what is going off my knee. I have a torn meniscus in my left knee and I will be having surgery tentatively on the 22nd. They said that sometimes insurance makes you wait 15 days from the time that they push it in you know, to the time they schedule it and they so my insurance might say they I need to wait till the 29th. So hopefully the 22nd so I can be up and going. They said it's a quick surgery, about an hour or two under and I go home and I relax for about two days and then my knee should be pain free. Fingers crossed, because I'm ready to play. Here's my little bundle with my little flower sticker. I always love that. And let's see what I look like. I see some colors. Let's see. By my little here is my note from my stylist Jesse. Hi Heather. I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs rustling back here. Both of them are playing really hard right now, but it's keeping them content. So hi Heather. I hope you like the collection I chose for you. I pulled fun spring tops and cute colors to go with the petite capri. Oh, there's petite capri here. Hope you love the dress. Perfect for spring. Enjoy Jesse. Alright, let's go straight and you of course you get your um, prepaid mailer so that you can ship back them anything that doesn't work for you free of charge. Put that to the side so I don't lose that. All right, it looks like the most expensive thing in the box is $79 and looks like they are the Capri. Um, they're by Liverpool. And the total of the box is $252. My styling fee will go towards that. It's a $20 styling fee. Says your $20 selling fee will be deducted from the cost of anything you keep in this collection. Plus, you'll receive an additional 30% if you keep it all, or an additional 20% discount if you keep three or four items. I have three calendar days from the day that you receive your collection to check out and ship back what I'm returning. And that's why I wanted to do this today. Um, I got it in on a Thursday evening. I'm assuming it came in yesterday during the day. I'm not sure what time. Um, but calendar days to me means friday saturday sunday so we'd have to go back on sunday and usps doesn't run on sunday i don't know if they calculate weekends into that or not but probably a question i should find the answer to so i don't feel like i'm in such a hurry but in my mind this counts as day one and it's a friday so um, all right pull all the tissue paper aside and the very first item is really pretty it's by skies are blue oh it's a dress skies are blue it is $59. It is a plaid dress. It's a very thin kind of a um, flannel plaid, but it's very thin. It's very, very buttery soft. It has a little bit of a flutter sleeve. It's a sleeveless with a flutter sleeve. That might actually be a little small. It feels a little short across here. So um, what size is this? This is a size medium. It has a few buttons. Oh, it, it buttons all the way down with a little tie front. Um, it looks like it's going to be probably just past my knee. I hope that fits. That's really cute, but I bet you I'm going to need a large in that. That's just such a casual, it's, it's got kind of a grayish plum in there, um, and then a darker plum, and some peaches, and salmon-y colors. I, I really like this. It's probably going to be too tight to the chest, but I do like that. And it's $59. I'm looking forward to trying that one on. 
All right, the next one's very colorful. Oh, it's quite cute too. This is by S-A-C-E, Sake, Sauce. It is the uh, D, I'm not sure what the D stands for, short sleeve floral top. This is only $39. It has a bit of a short, it is a short sleeve. It's not a cap sleeve or a flutter sleeve. It just looks like a, I think it's just a short sleeve. Has a little button closure in the back. And it does have a little tie detail at the waist. It's really cute. It's um, not something I would go pick up, you know, if I were walking through a store. It has kind of a, a wider crew neck, it looks like. It might be a little bit higher necked on here. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I guess it's going to depend on what that looks like on. But I love the colors in it. It's very dainty. And that's in a size large. So it looks like it's cut, I guess, my shoulder length. I hope that looks cute on because it's it's not something I would normally gravitate towards. It has little tulips on it. It's so cute. Tulips and you know different types of flowers. But I like that too. All right, the next item here is by Sauce as well, or Sauce. Sauce. There is a little, let me just show you this tag. I've not seen this brand before. Have you guys seen this brand? The price of this is $39 as well, and it is bright red and blue. It has a longer short sleeve. I think that's gonna hit me just above my elbow. Um, it has have a little button closure in the back as well. It's very light, very thin. Um, it's actually really cute. I did just recently get a reddish orange top though. I don't think it had this bright of a blue in it, but I will have to, if it, depending on how this looks, I'm going to have to see. The, the arms have a bit of a detail here where it might blouse out a little bit here. I'll have to see what that looks like on. I don't want to, it's cute, but I don't want to have a bunch of duplicates of the same thing in my, so I'll have to see what, what I just recently got. All right, this is cute too. Um, this is by La Ami. I think that's what, La Sami. La Ami, I think is what it's called. It is the ruffle sleeve striped top. This one is only $36. It is a knit, a t-shirt material. Very soft, very stretchy. It is horizontal stripes, which is not something I go to very often, but I love the colors of this. And look at this little bell sleeve here. Or this little ruffled sleeve. It's not necessarily a bell. It's a... It's going to hit me just at my elbow, I think. I think the bell might actually cover my elbow. Um, straight hem across, no high-low here. It is kind of an ivory and sky blue. Let's see, what does the neckline look like? Maybe a, maybe a scoop neck, maybe not. I don't know. Wow, Jesse, you're doing really good. That's really cute. You know, I don't think I've ever had a five for five box in any in any of my boxes. I don't think I've ever kept absolutely everything that was sent to me. All right, here is the last item. They are a pull, pair of pull-on denim. I do have one pair of pull-on denim, but they are skinnies and very dark, dark wash. And I wear them from time to time because they're very, very comfortable. They are not my favorite pair of jeans. But this is a different color. This is kind of a mid-wash by Liverpool. They are in a petite, yay. Um, they're the Chloe Wide Cuff Capri. They are $79. It is a wide cuff down here. But you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's see, is it, it, is, it is stitched, so it does not, it is stitched in there. So I guess you could break that stitch if you wanted to lengthen them. I won't want to lengthen them. Uh, functioning pockets, not in the front. Yes, in the back. Love Liverpool. I'm gonna have to try those on and see. Um, I just I feel like I've got so many pairs of skinny jeans, and I'm I have one pair of straight leg jeans that are in a very light wash color, and I do like them, and I wear them from time to time with boots. Um, they're a little bit on the long side for me. I would like to find some petite straight leg with like no distressing or very very minimal distressing. Um, something a little different because I feel like I wear the same thing. I, I know I, I have a lot of clothes, but I feel like I feel the same in what I wear every day. Unless I wear a dress or whatever. I, this is one of the little shirts I got from Loft the other day. I think it's super cute. It has the little um, wrap design here with the buttons on the side. Well, it makes my chest look really large right there. Um, but being that these are a wide cuff, maybe that'll just give me a different look because I do, you know, in the summertime I cuff up my skinny jeans which just makes them a shorter pair of skinny jeans with a cuff so 
Maybe these will look good. Maybe. All right, I am going to get changed into the first outfit since it, it is. I have a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and have my husband come in here and shoot the, the try on real quick. And if I still have time after that, then I will do the recap. Otherwise, I'll have to do that when I get home. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so this is the Skies Her Blue little plaid dress. It is slightly pulling right here at the chest, but I, that could just be bra choice, I'm thinking. Um, or maybe just unbuttoning one button. I don't know. It's really cute. It's really comfortable. I like the little flutter sleeve just right here. The little cap, you know, ruffle, I guess is what I'm trying to call it. It's very casual. Uh, this would be really nice just to throw on even today because I'm feeling so lazy. I have errands to run just with a pair of sandals and very easy. Um, let me turn around. I feel like if I were to change my bra and, the, the, and have the way, you know, when you change your bra, sometimes your breasts sit a little bit different. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, before I make a decision on this, I'll try a different bra on and see how I like it. But I, I do kind of like this. It does have an elastic waist, so it's very forgiving here. Um, the little tie just is attached in the front. This little detail, I guess, can cover a belly if you have one. Um, I like the colors. I know, and it's something I absolutely do not have, so I really like this. Okay, I have the little sauce or sauce, whatever you call the top, the brand name on. I think it's really cute. It is a little, like one size too small. This isn't a size medium. It's just a little tight. Um, I don't really like where it's hitting me here. And it might be these jeans that, because there's no real zipper or anything here that's making me feel a little funny about it. Um, but I think it's cute, but it is, one size too small. Um, actually, I guess what it does is it fits me exactly the way I'm shaped. There's just not, when I, when I go like this, it is a little tight in the sleeve. So, and it just doesn't really wow me. Oops, I forgot to talk about the jeans. I actually really like them. They're super comfortable. Um, I'm thinking with a lower shirt, one that doesn't come up this high, because this seems a little weird to me to show it off. Um, these are by Liverpool, the Chloe Wide Cuff Capri. They fit me wonderfully. I like the leg, the, the wide cuff, and the fact that it's not a skinny leg, something different for a change. Um, they fit really nicely, very comfortable, very soft. So I'm gonna try them on with a different shirt and get a better feel because I don't feel like this shirt works well with these pants. Okay, so this is the short sleeve ruffle, ruffle striped top. I think it's super cute, it's super soft. I like the little, I told you it was gonna hit me just at my elbow, and it does. Um, I, I don't even mind the fact that it's horizontal stripes. It has a straight hem. Ah, does it have a straight hem? Yeah, I think it is a straight hem. It might be slightly curved. I, I think the shirt is really cute, even with this. Let me just do a little front tuck here. Do you front tuck um, pull-on jeans? I don't know. Very, this is like a pajama, uh, the, this, the jeans are so soft and so stretchy, they feel like pajama bottoms, as well as the top. So, I don't know, I really like this. What do you guys think? All right, this is the second shirt by Sauce. It is also in a medium, and it fits me perfectly. There's no pulling in the shoulders or in the chest. There's, you know, enough room in here, but without it being baggy. Love the colors. Um, what do you think of the ruffled, does it make me look too broad shouldered to have this little poof on the sleeve. I, I kind of like it. It's something different. This is what it would look like untucked. It is a straight hem. Um, I kind of like it with just a little bit of a front tuck, even with these jeans, so I don't understand. Um, love the colors. And this is more of a blue red with the pops of blue in it, so I'm actually really liking it. The only shirt that didn't work was that first floral. Um, but the same brand, same size, and it just didn't have enough. I mean, this doesn't have any stretch in it either, so I don't know why the same brand with the same size would fit so drastically different. Um, and I don't think I would ask for an exchange in that. It's cute, but I'm going to have to do some Natalie Tide math and see how that works out. But I'm going to get my clothes back on, and I will, I'm will. i going to look at my footage and see what I look like through your eyes, and I will do a recap. All right, let's do the, a recap for this Natalie Attired box. This could have easily have been a five for five. And honestly, I would have kept everything 
if it hadn't been for this top being a little too small. And you know, the, the, even in the arms and the chest area was fine, but this elastic at the bottom is so tight that I feel like it's going to keep popping up and I don't really like that um, look. So, and I don't even know what this is made out of. This is going to be one of those that has to be ironed, I'm sure. Hand wash, cold water, do not bleach. And then it has all the California laws on it, hang to dry. And I'm not seeing a materials list. No. 100% rayon. There we go. So I'm, I'm going to say no to that only because of the elastic, you know, and I, I, I have been less mobile over the last couple of months with my knee issue. That knee issue is about to be repaired in a couple of weeks, so I'll be able to be a little more mobile. I do feel like I have not gone on the scale because I feel like I've gained a few pounds. And I really, there's at this point, I can't get on my treadmill. I can't really, I can barely even run around the yard with the kid, with the dogs. And I can't run around the yard. I hobble around the yard until I can't do it anymore. I'm planning all my outside trips, trying to get it all done at once. To, to the point where my knee can't do anymore. So in two weeks, I will be more active. I will drop a few pounds. I'm already working on my eating, even though I did eat a little, one of those little miniature hostess stuff, um, cupcakes last night. And that was a bad, not cupcakes, donuts. So anyway, um, I'm, I would like to lose about 20 pounds right now. I'll be happy with five. So I'm working on that. Now I am going to keep this dress. It is so comfortable and it, I mean, I did change my bra and it did help. Um, it might still have a tiny little bit of a pull in there, but nothing that looks odd or it would be obvious to anybody but me. It doesn't feel like it's pulling. It's not tight at all. And I guess that's just the way it's cut. Another thing I really liked is these flutter, these little ruffle sleeves, they go down to here and it looks like it's going to go way deep, but then there is this panel that covers any bra that you would wear. And that's, to me, that was them thinking ahead, and I, I really like that. It makes everything very secure, so no matter what type of bra you wear, it's gonna be covered. So I could wear a sports bra underneath this, and no one would see the sports bra, and that would smush the girls up a little bit, right? So I like, and I've had several things I've tried on that have this little tie that just comes out of the front. It's like made into the material, like this extra piece, it's not an additional added piece. It's almost like it should have been a sleeve there or something, but I really like how that just comes in the front. I did find when I tried it back on with the new bra that pushing the waistband up a little bit makes it sit a little nicer on me, more like a more an empire waist type thing, not, not just directly underneath my, my bra, but just slightly higher on the waist. I really liked it. I liked the length, I love the color, and a few days ago I had bought some earrings from Loft, um, and they are pretty close to the same color. So I thought those would be really cute with this dress. So I am, I'm going to keep this dress. I want to change and wear it today. <laughs> um, the jeans I'm absolutely keeping. Even my husband said they were neat, you know, something completely different and they fit wonderfully and they have enough stretch that when I lose a few pounds, they're still going to fit. Um, you know, I, I have a closet full of fours, sixes, eights, and a few tens and a couple of dresses that are a 12 petite because that's, it depends on how they're cut in the chest. And I fluctuate. Um, now I will tell you it's time for me to just get rid of the fours. I think I've actually donated most of those fours. Um, I do have several sixes because it all depends on how they're cut. Um, some of them are in a Rubbermaid bin that I need to go back through and see if I'm ever gonna wear them again. Um, most of my stuff is about an eight. And I feel like these would fit even if I drop five or 10 pounds. So, and I mean, with the elastic waist, I'm not really sure. Everything I've worn with an elastic waist, the, the one pair of jeans that I have that are pull on, I make sure it covers the waistband because I think that's kind of a strange look, I guess. Um, but these felt amazing. They fit amazing. I love the wide cuff on them. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely keeping those. This little blue and white striped top, felt amazing. I thought it was super cute. I love the colors. You know I love blue. Um, I love the little detail of the bell sleeve. There's no restriction in it whatsoever. Um, I mean, a lot of times I come home and I can't wait to change because I'm in something that's so restrictive and especially after I've eaten a big meal, we've gone to dinner or something and I need to get home and get in my comfy clothes. I put on a pair of leggings or yoga pants and a t an oversized t-shirt or sweatshirt and I lounge on the couch. 
Well, I feel like this outfit, I wouldn't even need to change. So that is going to be a keeper. So that's three out of five so far. And this red top, the other one I got is um, blacks with reds and whites. And this is different colors of blues with the reds. And I really liked it. Um, I feel like this would be a really nice date night top with a pair of dark denim um, or black denim. I just, I, it's very striking to me. Um, what, did, what did you think of it? Did you think it was too much for me? I'm actually, because that's four out of five. Now that will give me 20% off of the total purchase price. Well, I did some math. So everything in the box, if I were to keep everything after the $20 styling fee, um, you get 30% off. It would be $162.40. And that came down from $252. So that's almost $100 off. If I deduct this and I only do the 20% off, it's $154. So we're talking, or $156. So we're talking about an $8 difference. So I'm wondering if it would be wiser for me just to see if I could have them exchange this to a large. This one was a medium, correct? No, this was a large. Who? Yeah, it's cut more restrictive. It is cut. Like I said, up here, I would be fine with this movement. It wasn't that tight in my arms that I couldn't move. It is just the elastic here at the bottom that bugged me. It was just too cinched, I guess. And you can see how much cinching there is. And it pulls, it just kind of balloons too short on my waist. And I've even put it on with a pair of my regular denim jeans, the ones I'm wearing today. And I don't, it just, I don't like where it sits. Because I have wider hips and a bigger tush, the way it sits accentuates that to me. So I'm just going to bite the $8 and just send that one piece back. I will get the 20% off of my, of the purchase price since I am keeping four of the five items. Oh, and I've lost the whole math thing. So, and I don't remember what that but not number was now. So the total was two fifty two. Minus the twenty dollars styling styling fee brings it down to two thirty two. Minus what would the minus go? Twenty percent is one eighty five sixty. Nope, that's wrong. I did that wrong. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the math right this time. The order the total of the box would have been two fifty two. Minus the thirty nine dollars for the top that I'm not keeping minus the $20 styling fee minus 20% becomes to $154.40. And I was looking on here, I have a $5 credit um, on here. So it would be $149 for four pieces. So I think, I think I'm gonna just not do the five for five. I mean, it really is sad to me because we're talking about, like, let, me just, let me just do this one more time. Oh, and I just completely closed everything out. I'm terrible with getting new phones and trying to remember where everything is. And then my husband rearranged my, all my, um, where my apps go. So 252, if I were to keep that top and exchange it for an extra large if they had it, minus the $20 styling fee is 232, minus 30% is 162.40. So it is $8, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm not gonna wear it. And even if I lost five or 10 pounds, it's not, it's not about the chest part, it's about how this pulls up. And I'm just, it's super cute. And Jesse did an amazing job and had that fit me the way this top does and didn't have all that elastic in it, I'd have kept it. So let me know your thoughts. What did you like? What didn't you like? Um, let me know if I'm crazy about that plaid dress. I just thought it was very casual. I know it's not super form-fitting and um, dressy, but I don't want all my dresses to be dressy. I was actually, I was feeling a dress today. I went into my closet. I was, it's overcast. It is going to be warm, but I didn't want anything that was going to be maxi because when it rains today, I will have the whole bottom of my dress soaked wet. So I'm not going to, I didn't want to wear that. And I don't have a lot of short casual dresses there are there are party dresses that you know things that are a little more you know form fitting or the material is not something that you just wear on a regular daily basis so that to me is a very casual can throw on and i won't look like i'm trying to dress up to go get my tag for my car type thing you know 
Anyway, I hope you all have a very happy day. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you have, if you haven't, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Tell your friends to come by and stop. And I will put my referral link below. I think it's a $25 um, referral. I think if you, I th oh, someone did, someone did in March. Aisha, thank you, Aisha. I love watching your videos. You are so fun. And she, she did follow up underneath me, and I think that's where I got that credit from. So thank you so much, Aisha. So there is a referral code that if you feel like using it, great. If not, and you just want to check out Natalie Attired on your own, or use another YouTuber's referral link, that's fine with me too. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. I know I've already said that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.